number seven, gone, folks, in my last year of teaching. Hi, folks, Gary here. Hard to believe, hard to believe that another week has come and gone in my last year of teaching. Pulling out into traffic here, now being very cautious doing so. Looking both ways and making sure there's no uh, there's no traffic in my way. Want to be safe. Want to do it as cautiously as I can. Well, getting back, week number seven, gone, folks. In my last year of teaching, um, during my commute now on my way home, I just wanted to explain to you how the week went. It was a great week. Filled in again on Thursday as acting principal at my school, and it was a great, great day. No difficulties, no troubles, and just a great, great day overall. We got a great bunch of students this year, so very, very pleased that in my last year of teaching, I got some great students to teach and some great students to supervise too when I'm out and about on duty and doing that kind of stuff. On my commute though this morning, I want to tell you that. Um, I was close to uh, the last stretch uh, on my way to school and this big old bull moose came out. Big old moose came out out of the woods and he came out to the center of the road and looked around and he darted back into the woods again. I slowed down of course and took my time so as not to uh, cause an accident or anything. I pulled off and waited to see if he would come back because I was going to take a little video to show you guys but that wasn't to be. He just darted back into the woods and, and did not come back out. But I had a great week. A very, very good week, just the same. Classes are going extremely well now. We are in to uh, over half of the term now, term one. And as I said, everything is going very, very smoothly. Enjoying the year tremendously. And I'm enjoying this, uh, this commute home too. One thing about these commutes, these hour-long commutes on my way home is that I get to unwind. If I've had a difficult day and by the time I get home I'm all ready to relax and uh, and get ready for supper and then and then relax uh, for the evening with Miss Betty but uh, the commute I don't find too bad at all especially this time of year the sides of the road here ladies and gentlemen is absolutely beautiful stunning the fall colors in Newfoundland and Labrador are amazing are amazing and in fact if I come up on a, a fairly decent spot right now I think I'm going to pull over and I'm going to take my phone out of the phone mount that's on my dash and just scan around and show you the scenery that I've got to put up with on my ride home every day. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to do it now, I think. Here we go. Slow down, Mr. Gary. Take your time. A little bit of traffic there behind me. So I'm going to pull over now because I want to show off. I want to show off the fall colors in Newfoundland and Labrador. And I think, and I think you will be impressed. This is the stretch of highway between Hare Bay, Newfoundland and Gamble, Newfoundland. An absolutely gorgeous highway this time of year with the fall colors. The leaves are absolutely magnificent. The reds, the oranges, the yellows, and still a few greens on the go. Just a beautiful, beautiful area. Look at that nice red maple in there. Just look at that. Gorgeous, eh? Lots of beautiful trees in Newfoundland and Labrador. Like I said, I got my truck pulled off here now. Got my emergency lights on. I just want to do a short clip to show you how gorgeous the colors are here in Newfoundland and Labrador. Coming up on the Trans-Canada Highway now, folks. I've driven for, for maybe 20 minutes now. And since I've left Hare Bay, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada, on my commute home, it has started the rain. I am at the end of Gamble now, Newfoundland and Labrador, about to turn on to the Trans-Canada Highway heading into Gander. So let's do that together. I'm approaching the, uh, the overpass and I've got to turn onto the ramp to the right. And like I said, I'll be heading into Gander, heading home to relax and get ready for supper. And of course, to relax and enjoy the evening. Okay, there's the ramp. And I'm almost to the Trans Canada. And again, folks, just take a look at those gorgeous, gorgeous colors on the sides of the highway. Okay, come to a stop, Mr. Gary. Take your time. All right, here we go. 
Okay, I'm on the Trans-Canada Highway now, heading west toward Gander, Newfoundland, and Labrador. And again, folks, keep your eyes on both sides of the road and tell me if those colors are not absolutely wonderful. They are indeed stunning. I would hazard to guess that a lot of people watching this video are surprised that Newfoundland and Labrador has such beautiful, beautiful fall colors, and in fact, has such a variety of trees. Uh, we have a lot of deciduous trees, as you can see. That's where the color is coming from. And we also have a lot of coniferous trees as well that remain green all year long, of course. Again, very beautiful on my commute home, but it is raining, so I've gotta be very cautious and careful during my commute as not to hydroplane. And I don't think that's gonna happen because I am a very careful driver. Taking my time, even though the speed limit on the Trans-Canada Highway is 100 kilometers per hour, I'm going around 85 here now, taking my time. There are ruts in the highway, so again, I need to be cautious, and that's what I'm being. Uh, I decided to let you see what's going on ahead of me. Uh, my phone is in, the, uh, is in the phone mount there on my dash, so you can see, see the colors. Absolutely beautiful, folks. It is indeed. I do have a very enjoyable commute from my school to home each and every day. Even though it's raining, folks, uh, you can certainly see the uh, the gorgeous, the colors, the foliage in the trees on both sides of the Trans-Canada Highway on my commute home to Gander today. Lots of oranges, lots of browns, lots of yellows and reds, and of course the greens are there as well. I've got about 15 more minutes now and I'll be home, but I wanted to throw a challenge out to you now. If you live in a part of the world where the fall and the autumn causes the colors on your trees, the leaves on your trees to change color, um, I would challenge you to post a video to your YouTube channel showing the various stages and changes that the leaves on your trees go through this time of year. Of course, these leaves will soon be flying. Uh, give it a few more weeks and they'll be there for the coming winter here in Canada. But as of now though, for the next few weeks, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And as I said, I want to throw out a challenge to you. Please post some pictures in the community page or post some video on your YouTube channel showing off the fall colors in your area of the world. I would appreciate that very, very much. And if you are a friend of GBL, the Old Church Five Acre Homestead, well, we will most certainly be watching your video and commenting on your video for sure. So please go ahead and do that. Post a video on your YouTube channel showing off the fall colors in your area. I am almost home now, folks, from my commute this week, week number seven at my school during my last year of teaching. I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming along with me on this commute today. I really enjoy your company as I drove home. Uh, a couple of things happening in this video, this seventh week. We talked about my week at school. We talked about the uh, the fall foliage, the colors, absolutely gorgeous on my drive home, of course, during this time of year. And I issued a challenge to you as well for you to post videos on your YouTube channel of what it is like in your neck of the woods, in your town or city in the fall. Do the leaves on the trees where you live change color? If so, folks, please, please do show us a video. I am nearly home, folks. I want to say thank you. Thank you for being with me uh, during my commute, of course. And I want to say thank you always for tuning into our YouTube channel, Gary Betty Leet, the old church, Five Acre Homestead. Miss Betty and I, we appreciate you watching our videos. We appreciate you liking our videos, subscribing to our channel, of course, uh, and leaving us lots and lots of comments on our YouTube channel. Okay, the last few, uh, the last few kilometers on my commute home today, folks. Here we go, into Gander. I'm about maybe three or four minutes now from my home. Again, I wanna say thank you, thank you so much 
for being with me today during my commute, during my drive home, this seventh week of teaching. Appreciate your company. Appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend a few minutes with me. That is awesome. So much appreciated. So much appreciated. I thank you again. Gary, going to sign out now, folks. See you later.